everybody, Jay and Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym in Pittsburgh, PA, obviously. I am here with NPC competitor Eric Wood. What's happening, Eric? I'm much. How are you? Good. This is actually his second time here, so I'm not going to give all the frills and everything, you know. Yeah, I was here in uh, 2017. Yeah. I can't, I can't believe it's that long ago, though, actually. <laughs> I know. Yeah. That's whenever you won the Pittsburgh, right? Uh, that was 2018. 2018. Yeah. So it was right before that. Yep. So it was magic that you came here. <laughs> 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 must have been. Uh, you should have been here before North America. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so Eric, just uh, he just competed in the 2020 NPC North American Championships, and as they say, he was this close. Right there. Right there. So uh, give us a little bit of your thoughts about the North Americans and what happened there and what was going on. It was a great show. Uh, first time going for a pro card. So, yeah, we... Uh, it was a good prep. It was kind of weird with COVID. You know, we weren't sure if the show was even going to happen. So, five weeks out, I think, you guys announced it was going to be in the tent. Yeah. And then from there, it was just, you know, full yeah. steam ahead. Yeah, that was when we were going to have the tent with an audience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was weird out there posing. You look out, there's no one there. Right. But it was still a good time. Yeah. So, um, you were in, I mean, I saw you were in really good shape there. You were in a very tough class. Yes, thank you. Yeah. yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, I know it's always rough, you know, when you get that close. Yeah. You know. It was. Yeah. Because so, I was in the center and uh, could have been, you know, was all the guys in there really good. Could yeah. Have been any of us. Yeah. So, but uh, now before the North Americans, what was the last contest that you were in? Before North America, it was. Uh, I got to think back here. It was Junior Nationals in 2019. Okay. And I won the light heavyweights there. And uh, that was my third junior show. So after that, I was like, okay, I'm going to go for a pro card. Right. And that was the first time I tried. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So now that you've been there, you've basically tasted it. You smelled it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the game plan now from here? <laughs> Same show next year. You're going to have you wait. You're going to wait yeah. till next year. Yep. Okay. So you're not going to try anything for the end of the year. Mm -mm. You just want to take a year off and get, take the critiques and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sit in the sauna to make light heavies. You know, be 198. I woke up at like 204, so I had to shed eight pounds or six pounds. That okay. Day. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to take a big off season. Grow. So you can grow into the class. Yep. Got it. That's Got the it. plan. So that's that's good. Mm -hmm. So. Um, what are your thoughts on how this year has been going with all the craziness? I mean, what did you do for training? Where were you training? Were you doing stuff at home or what? My parents' house. They have a little gym in the basement. Oh, nice. And I got a few buddies that own some gyms that would let me come in there, you know, a few times a week. So. Yeah, let's not name them. Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> let's not I, want, them. I wanted to address it. Yeah. That was nice of them. So I, I always had a gym pretty much. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it, it's amazing to me how people found a way to keep working out, to keep training, no matter what it is. It was is, hard. From the pros to, to keep, the amateur. To stay motivated? Yeah. It was hard, yeah. And like you said, I mean, and it's the same with us. Some, we don't it's know. for everyone, yeah. The contest, you know. Yeah, and no one even knew when the gyms were going to open. Right. And you never, you never know um, as far as, you know, the, the local government, of what they're going to do, just like they did here with the North yeah. Americans. I yeah. mean. You know, took it from having an audience to no audience, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I know. It's, just, it's, it's been a crazy, crazy year. Yeah. Yeah, but for sure. It's so. great. Still, what, 1,800 competitors? Yeah. 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 So, All to go through prep during that. And, and to get the international prep. competitors here, to get the Canadian yeah. and the Mexico competitors mm -hmm. here. I mean, which was great. It's great to see them. And it was great to see those, uh, you know, the Canadian and, and Mexico competitors also doing well. Some of them went in their classes, yeah. a few of them turning pro mm -hmm. in all the divisions, you know. Yeah. People don't realize that this is an international contest. I mean, North Americans is North America. You have, so you have competitors yeah, from everywhere. Canada, Mexico. Like, you, like, when you go to, say, an NPC contest, like whether it's, say, the Junior USA or Junior Nationals mm -hmm. or Nationals or Univar, whatever. Or Mr. USA. Yeah. You kind of know the guys. Yeah. Or the other girls or whoever you're competing against, right? right? Yeah. But now we're throwing into the mix two other countries that you're uh -huh. looking at people, you're going, damn, Look where does that come yeah. from? Like, <laughs> he can't be from the States, man, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> exactly. You know, so to do well at the North Americans, I mean, 
you know, winning is great, you know, like mm-hmm. you coming close, but I mean, that is an international contest. Yeah. So it's, it's very, very competitive. Mm. And you th- figure, um, I don't think that the Canadians actually had a contest. This was like most of them, their first contest also. Oh yeah. With the yeah. Canada with everything shut down. And every contest in Mexico was canceled this year. So this was basically their first contest yeah. also. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so there's a lot of hungry competitors. <laughs> Men and women yeah. that were competing, you know. I, I think there was like what twenty-two guys in the light heavyweights. Yeah. At North Americans. Yeah. 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 So that was pretty great. It was, it was a lot of fun, it's, you know. It's, yeah. With COVID and all that craziness, to finally be able to go out and step on stage. Yes. Just a good feeling. Yeah, for everybody. Yeah, for everyone. Yeah. All right. So, is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to, give a thanks to, or anything like that? Yeah, to my coach Andrew Vu out in Texas. Uh, he's done great. I couldn't be happier. And uh, all my family and friends, of course, you know, support me through that prep. You yeah. Know, it's nothing simple. No. When especially you do it the right way. Yeah. Yeah. But especially this year, mm-hmm. you know. So, all right. Well, uh, we will see you on stage in 2021. 2021. Yep. Okay. MPC North Americans. That's right. You're coming back. You're coming back coming for back. the win. Yep. Come back for the win. <laughs> That's right. That's the goal. Good. So you, you want to be the next Nick Walker, the next Chris Bumstead, the overall champion, right? The over, yeah, You're not no, looking at just for not that. Not just a weight class. Right. Yeah, you you want to be, you wanna be those guys, right? Yeah, that's the goal. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, J.M. Mannion. Eric Wood. Signing out for NPCNewsOnline.com.